Here's Sloan, covered by Parker. Sloan dishes to Lopez. And it's good with time running down in the shot clock. Lopez has got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for the Nets. And, oh. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying hard to get back into this game like this. Yeah, definitely a jam with emphasis. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. How about maybe even a question mark? Right? Yeah, I would have to say there are a lot of questions right now from a defensive standpoint. That's for sure. The Nets have missed a few free throws up to this point, shooting 4-7 from the foul line tonight. Despite another miss there, you still have to like the way he's been working himself to the free throw line. He hits the second from the line. You know, the Nets really kind of drifted along for the first part of last season, treaded water, but after the All-Star break, they stepped on the gas, put themselves right back in the playoff picture. Leonard, that's for two. Good, and Aldridge gets the assist. And that's 12 points for Leonard. He's a big reason why they have the lead right now. He's made all of his field goal attempts thus far and remains hot from the floor. And Young kicks to Ellington. To the left wing. Here's Karasov. He's covered by Leonard. Karasov passes to Young. Can't hit from in close. As you mentioned, the Nets were great after the break at the third best record post All Star break in the East. Yeah, and, and how about one in 13 of their first 22 after the break? And, and sometimes with a new coach insisting it takes a while to kind of figure things out. And, and that seemed to be the case with the Nets last year. Moving it around, eight of their last 10 coming off the six. And Greg, you know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Thomas Robinson, who's checked in for Thaddeus Young. The Spurs have gone 0 for 1 at the line. This is their second trip to the line tonight. And just to mention, a season ago, they were very comfortable at the line, hitting about 78% of their free throws. You know, something you can point to when you're talking about their areas of success last season, free throw shooting. Here's Sloan. He has five. He feeds it to Ellington. Lopez a screen. It's stolen by Green. Duncan high post. Free throw line jump shot. And it's sent back by Lopez. They get it back. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. It's going to be Aldridge shooting. That's on Brooke Lopez. Boy, look at the night for LaMarcus Hall. He has eight points, and he's picked up one dime. And, and guys, remember, LaMarcus Hall just last January suffering a torn ligament in his thumb, scheduled to undergo surgery and, and miss two months of the season. But, but he opted to tough it out and keep playing. And boy, how big was that for the Blazers? On offense, here are the Spurs. They're on a 10-to-1 run right now. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Ellington. Sloan dishes to Karasov. Traps in the tray. Karasov's got five. Spurs leading by ten. Parker kicks to Green. Parker outside. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. And, of course, Tony Parker, so big for San Antonio in those championship runs. But word on the street was that Spurs coach Greg Popovich didn't always go easy on Tony. He really pushed him to the limit. Yeah, you know, it started back when Tony was invited to the Spurs summer camp before the 2001 draft. One of the scouts was really physical with Tony, really gave him a hard time, and that was really the start of his maturation process in learning to deal with the NBA. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Lopez inside. He's against Parker. Lopez, no up. And, you know, getting back to Popovich's relationship with Tony Parker, Pop made the decision to draft Parker. So he obviously saw something. But Pop's a perfectionist, and if you're going to play point guard for him, you've got to deliver consistently. Here's Hollis Jefferson. He's covered by Leonard. 
the call will be against LaMarcus Aldridge. That's his third foul of the game. And some changes here for the Spurs. Boris Diaz checked in for Aldridge. Sue Butler comes in for Leonard. And it's Mills in for Parker. And the Nets also making a change. Roten's checked in. And talking about Tony Parker, Pop's tough love with him really paid off. Tony eventually became incredibly consistent, culminating with him being named the Finals MVP back in 07. Now here's Roten. He's covered by Ginobili. Roten, the pass to Barnyan. Here's Bogdanovich. A three-pointer is right on target. Boy, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like that from the three-point line. No one near him. That's a warm-up jumper for him. To the inside. And Bargnani sends it back. And they get it back. Diaw with a wide-open look. San Antonio again missing. That's trail by six. Roten with it. West picks him up. It's tipped. Ginobili with the steal. Just tentative in the paint, lacking a little bit of confidence, allowed the defender to recover and contest that shot. Roten dishes to Bargnani. Tries from seven. It's hauled in by Dia. They have a chance to go two for one here. Let's see how they play the clock. Butler kicks to Dial. Here's West. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two in the second effort. If you battle for the offensive rebound and come up with it, you're guaranteed a high-quality shot on the follow, just like he got there. Lopez is screaming to open. the pass to Lopez. Takes the three. That's good. Bogdanovich has got six points. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. And that's because the ball is looking for the best shot. And it's really paid off during the run. And no excuse there for missing that one after being freed up by a great pick. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, they can't. We welcome you back to what's been a hard-fought battle. Fourth quarter should be good. Nets trail by five. On the court for the Nets, getting the fourth quarter going. They've got Young. Wayne Ellington is out there with Donald Sloan. Then it's Thomas Robinson, and it's Karasov in at the three spot. Now, here's Ellington. He's guarded close. Five on the clock. Brooklyn needs to get off the shot here. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. San Antonio leading by five. Parker outside. And that one's good. Parker's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the Spurs. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. For three, Ellington. The rebound by the Spurs. Duncan's got his third rebound tonight. Parker dishes to Leonard. Feeds to Duncan. Parker with Green, the screen. Parker kicks to Aldridge. Just five to shoot. No good. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. And following this game, they'll challenge the Grizzlies on the road at the FedEx Forum in Memphis. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Young inside. Aldridge is covering. Young's shot is off. Spurs leading by seven. Parker passes to Leonard. Outside Aldridge. Pass to Parker. Offline with his three. Outstanding perimeter defense there. That was a well-contested shot. Yeah, and you know he takes a lot of pride in his defense. There are no easy threes if he's on you. In the first half, they didn't shoot nearly as many threes. But finding themselves down now, they started to cast up a lot more triples. Duncan left side. Here's Leonard. And that comes off the assist by Duncan. 14 points for Kawhi Leonard. 
And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Screen by Young. Sloan dishes to Karasov. Here's Sloan, covered by Parker. Here's Sloan. The shot is off. Good D by Parker. Outside, Green. The Spurs rebound. Duncan connects on the nine-footer. And now it's an eight-point Spurs lead. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. And here's Parker. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Here's Duncan. And it's Sloan with the rebound. Sloan's got his third rebound tonight. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be wrong. And Young kicks to Post. Terrific design on the big foot. And he lays it in. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Parker outside. Hangs home the trifecta. Parker's got five points now in the quarter. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. Yeah, enough scoring on the inside there. I think it's time for him to send a message to his team. Yeah, you're exactly right. I guarantee you this talk centers around cutting down on all of those points coming in the paint. They've got to show more resistance there. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Hi, Kevin. I was able to hear the advice line. left in the game. In the corner, it's Ellington. And again, it's the Nets missing. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boys. Clark, it wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap and maybe swing the momentum. Leonard attacking. Can't capitalize on the good screen. Nets trail by 11. Ellington kicks to Carson. Leonard with the steal. And, and we'll just watch the clock wind down guys, in what will turn out to be a win here for the Spurs. The key here, Clark, second chance points. Well, they pounded the offensive glass again. I also think they won the 50-50 balls, too. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And that next meeting, Greg, will be their second and final game of the season series being in opposite conferences. So you bet nobody wants to get swept even in the two-game season series. I think the next game will be hotly contested. And what a huge standout performance it was for Kawhi Leonard. He was extremely efficient offensively, got good looks, and really knocked down big shots all game long. Karasov, no luck. Here's San Antonio now. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. Parker outside. Parker sets the screen for Leonard. To the inside. No good from Duncan. He lobs it up. Well placed. L U pass into the layup. Almost an impossible shot to block in the post. The defender can't give up that much of a height advantage and expect to contest it. Parker outside. And so it's San Antonio easily taking this one. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, and I thought good execution really played a big part throughout. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline, of course. David, obviously... A the 2K Sports Post Game Show.